Okay, this is the house that I have for rent at uh, 1241 Old Sackville Road. I'm just going to do this little video to give the uh, prospective tenant an idea uh, where the house is and uh, a few other particulars about it. Um, it's a lovely old home my dad lived in for 16 years. Now it's now since passed. I've been running it for the last seven or eight years. And uh, I need a new tenant now. Um, that's a vegetable garden that I just put in last year. For a tenant that was elderly, unfortunately, didn't stay long because she got ill and wasn't able to live alone. But uh, that can be certainly there for the next tenant. Uh, it could be put in in flowers or vegetables, or it could be taken out if uh, somebody was adamant about not having it. Um, so this is a driveway I'm standing in, but I've ceased using it years ago because it's so steep that people were getting stuck. So it is a shared driveway. My house is next door. You can see how close the two houses are. So again, compatibility amongst tenant and, and uh, landlord are important because uh, we're pretty close proximity to each other. Now, sometimes my tenant parks here, in the, certainly in the winter time, or excuse me, in the summer and spring and fall. Sometimes they would park there, but more better is to park in the shared driveway. And that's the uh, Sackville Heights, element, or excuse me, uh, United Baptist Church there. So there's a lot of privacy here. And the Sackville Heights Elementary School there, grades 1 to 6, very, very close proximity. And uh, that would be my tenant's car right there. So there's parking for at least two cars here for the tenants. And that happens to be a rental vehicle that I'm driving at the moment. And uh, so anyway, it's shared driveway. And uh, the tenants normally just walk by my place. I keep the light on at nighttime bit of a sidewalk and again you'll see the close proximity between the two houses um, and uh, I'll just give you a bit of an idea of the backyard it's got a big backyard and a nice deck on the back and, uh, and once the leaves come on the trees there's a soccer field there for the school once the leaves come on the trees uh, there's really uh, lots and lots of privacy here although the two decks are pretty close together. Those are gardens in my backyard that I have planted in the strawberries and other vegetables which I share with my tenant, and there's raspberries and blackberries ringing the property that are certainly there for both, both the people that live here, myself, and the tenant next door. Uh, I'm not going to go in the house. I have photographs, and I'm going to put on the ad for that. But again, just to give you some idea, well insulated, two bedrooms, uh, really too small for more than two people. I don't want any more than, I prefer to have just one or maybe two at the most living there. The section in the back is a newer section that I put on. My dad lived here for a workshop and painting studio, and that's now the master bedroom. And, uh, all right, well, that's about it.